Here's a quick demonstration on how endotherm breaks down the surface tension of the water, which leads to increased surface area for heat transfer. What we have here is a little dropper bottle with some water and some water in endotherm. And a medical grade cloth that's a little less permeable than your average cloth. What I'm going to do here is take the water and put a few drops on it just to show the natural surface tension of water. So you can see there that the droplet is formed and it doesn't flow through the cloth because of the hydrogen bonding. Same thing is happening in your HVAC system. That hydrogen bonding at a, at a microscopic level is preventing ideal contact and therefore ideal heat transfer within your system. This bottle is just a little bit of endotherm and water, similar to the concentration you would find uh, after we've treated your system. And you can see the surface tension is broke down. It can flow through better surface area for contact. And that's what we're doing in your system. We're adding that concentration to get that ideal surface contact. And if you notice here, once that endotherm interacts with our water, it breaks the surface tension instantly. So it's not, it, it's an immediate effect by putting in endotherm. You're breaking down that surface tension and therefore increasing heat transfer. Thank you for joining us. Have a good day.